what's up guys it's andrea and i'm back in with another video you know as you guys can tell by today's title i will be talking about 10 tips for you to study finals in nursing school um honestly i will say it's a lot like studying for your prereqs however um i know some people may not have that same mindset or they're just not sure okay is finals in nursing school different than in prereqs or you know just anything of that, of that nature i will be giving you guys 10 tips that help me when i study for finals I've been in this for a little minute now. You know, I've been in nursing school since January 2017. So I've taken my fair share of finals in nursing school and all these tips have helped me every single time. But real quick before I get into the video guys, I do want to say, so in yesterday's upload, I talked about Vlogmas um, from the comments so far, because technically it's still today, but from the comments so far um, that I've seen since I've uploaded the video, a lot of you guys do want me to do Vlogmas. So then I started to thinking like, should I actually just start Vlogmas now? And I don't know, like I'm really stuck on, should I just go ahead? Cause I said what I wanted to do was just wait until the semester was over. But technically if I'm doing Vlogmas till Christmas day, it's not that much time to actually upload. I'm new to this, you know, but um, I don't know if I want to consider this a Vlogmas video or start Vlogmas today. We'll just wait till the semester's over. I don't know, we'll see. But I just wanted to let you guys know, nine times out of 10, I will be doing the Vlogmas. Okay, but to actually get into the tips now, again, I have 10 tips. Like I said, these 10 tips have really helped me, you know, every semester. Uh, I think I realized, you know, semester one, that these tips were the only way to get through final season was to actually use these tips. So let's just go ahead and jump into the first one. Okay, so my first tip is gonna be, you need to get your review, your blueprints, whatever you guys call them, um, from your previous exam. So however many exams you take, for me, I take four. So I would have four total um, reviews, we call them blueprints. I'd have four blueprints for me to look at. Other than that, me personally, I can't have a whole bunch of extra notes. The less notes that I have to look at, the better. And technically, all your information that you learn throughout the entire semester should be in every single one of those blueprints that you have. You shouldn't have to, I mean, unless you really want to look at your own notes, maybe like you write out notes or that's how you do your test reviews. Whatever you do, you just don't need a lot of information to look at. You know, it just, it's really, it's not so overwhelming when you have it structured. Okay, that's what I learned for the first test. That's what I learned for the second test and things like that. So then that way you can kind of recall what you didn't really know for that test or what you knew. So that kind of actually ties into my second tip. You really, really, really need to focus on, you need to focus on all of it, but you really need to make it a priority to go over the information that you did not really understand throughout the semester. That's the information you need to go over first. If you didn't understand fluid and electrolytes, that's the first thing you need to go over. If you really knew about cardiac, you know, hypertension, all that type of stuff, and you feel like you really have a down packed, kind of put that, you still need to review it just, you know, just so you have it fresh on your mind, but you don't need to make that a priority to study. If you, you know, you got a down pack, you need to really focus on the stuff that you do not know first. All right, my third tip is going to be group studies. And I say this all the time, how much I despise group studies. I don't do group studies. I can't do it throughout the semester. But when it comes to final season, this is the best time to be in a group study session because when you're in a group, first of all, make sure your group is a good group. You know, people that are going to stay on um, on topic, not, you know, distract you or anything. But the good thing about being in a group study session in final season is it should be more of a dialect conversation type thing. The reason why I don't like to do group study sessions during the semester is because all that information I'm learning, and again, this is for me personally, all that information that I'm learning, I don't really know it. So I don't feel comfortable enough sitting in a group talking about something that I'm just freshly learning. Versus if it's finals, by this point, I need to know, I need to know it about 90%, 85 to 90%. That rest of that, you know, 15 to 15%, I can get from sitting in that actual study session. But, you know, I just like the fact that it is more dialect, more conversation. Okay, this topic is gonna be brought off. Now everybody talk about everything that you know, everything that you learned this semester about that specific topic. So that is why I say, get you a good study group, stay in that study group, study with them people. They ain't there every day, do what you have to do, but I highly, highly recommend at this point in time to get a study group session. All right, tip number four, you guys probably already know, you've probably already been doing this, is practice questions, practice questions, practice questions. Um, I mean, and you guys know where to get them. Quizlet, uh, the NCLEX in your Saunders book. 
um, if you have an Evolve, whatever you have or you've been using throughout the, the entire semester, it doesn't change. Continue to do practice questions, continue to make sure you're understanding and obtaining everything that you've been reviewing. Okay, my fifth tip is going to be make a study schedule. Now, for my program, um, like the way that our classes and our tests are set up are completely different now, like our schedule is completely different. So it's really important for me to first of all, know when are my tests, what time are my tests, you know, things like that, what days, because it's a lot different versus, um, how can I say, like if I'm actually in that class on a Monday, like, okay, for example, on Monday, I'm supposed to have class, but because we're in final season or we're in the final testing schedule, I don't have class on Monday. So if I didn't know, I would have showed up on Monday and I would have been looking real dumb, you know, saying, you know, where's my class, where's everybody at? But technically, you, mean, you get what I'm saying? Like, you just need to make sure you know your schedule, know when you're taking your test. So from that point, you can go ahead and create you a study schedule. Okay, and then the next thing is you want to get your review for your final. Nine times out of 10, your instructor should give you a blueprint or review for your actual final exam. If not, you need to ask them to give you one. You need to know, because a lot of times they're not gonna put every single little thing you learn throughout the semester. Nine times out of 10, they're not gonna put it all on the final, um, but you need to get your review. You need to see what they're gonna be putting on there, what they're not gonna be putting on there, and what they are gonna be putting on there, which you don't know from that list. And again, that resorts back to the other tip I gave you guys. Go through what you really aren't strong on first, and then go, you know, further on down the line to the other information. All right, my next tip is super, super important. I think, honestly, out of all the tips, I think this one is probably the most important. Um, do not procrastinate and do not hold back on studying. Just because you feel like you've known the information or you've been doing good all semester, you've been making A's, you've been making B's, and you got real comfortable with your grade, you never know what these teachers could put on this final. You never know how they're gonna word things, how they're gonna do things. So you should never get too comfortable. You never know. You could be sitting at a mid B and you mess up on your final and your final way so much that it can take you from that mid B down to a C. So really take it serious, really put in the time as if you were studying for any other exam. Even if you are passing, even if you are doing good, you still need to really put in the work to do really good on your final. Okay, my next tip is going to be, you know, sometimes, especially the information that we learned in the very, very beginning of the semester, we often forget because that was so long ago. When it comes to information like that, what I like to do is actually just go back online and watch the same videos I was watching back then, watch them now, just to kind of get like a lecture, like, I guess, video on that specific topic. So if I'm going through it through my notes, if I'm looking through my, you know, old review from my past test, and I'm actually watching it online while I'm reviewing, the information really sticks. And then again, I feel like I'm getting a lecture on that topic all over again. So, you know, refreshing yourself with the information, especially, especially that stuff you learned in the very beginning of the semester. My next tip, um, again, it kind of ties into the other tip that I already talked about, you know, not procrastinating. You really want to dedicate me for me it's a week and a half however many long weeks or days that your finals are you really want to dedicate your time specifically to your finals um i know a lot of you guys have families have kids have other jobs or you have jobs or whatever the case may be but if you can really put stuff on hold i know you really can't put your family on hold but if you can put a few things on hold for the next you know couple of weeks that will really really help you out because I'm telling you guys, I think for my program, our finals are like 25% of our grade and that's a lot. So you really want to make sure that final can make all of a difference from failing to pass it from B to A, C. It can make a big difference. So that's what I'm saying. Like you really need to take this time serious and really put your all into these finals. And my last tip, again, another super, super important tip, guys, you really need to take care of yourself. I know this can be a really stressful time, especially, I don't wanna say this, but especially if some of you guys or some people, I'm not gonna say you guys in particular, but I, I've seen it with my own eyes. Like if some people aren't doing so well or they're really depending on that final to have them pass the class, you can really get stressed out and you can really over I don't wanna say over worry, but you can really, you know, make yourself sick worrying and stressing about these finals. You have to take care of yourself because at the end of the day, you cannot go in there confidently, 100% knowing, oh, I'm gonna ace this exam if you're sick. So you need to be sleeping. I don't care. I know we all wanna study. I tell myself all the time, I know you wanna study. I know you wanna say it, say it, but at the end of the day, you got to get your sleep. You have to eat. You have to take care of yourself. And again, it's two weeks. So within these two weeks, I know you're gonna be studying a lot, but you also need to still take care of yourself because like I said, you cannot go in there confidently 
knowing you're gonna ace the, the exam with you feeling sick. Like there's just no possible way. So guys, that's my 10 tips to help you know, hopefully study for your finals. I wish you guys all the best of luck. I'm praying for each and every one of you. I know you all are gonna do great. You're all gonna progress the next semester. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay up, stay with it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.